While some crazy mega projects are underway around the world, the US is also not lagging behind. Just like the line in the Saudi Arabian desert, a similar city, Tolosa, is going to be constructed in the US desert. But why go for a desert when you have ample land available in the states? And more importantly, who's the mastermind behind the project? These are the topics we plan to cover in this video. So just sit back and enjoy the video as we dive deep into the utopian city of Tolosa. The famous billionaire Mark Lore is the brains behind the futuristic city. As a child, Mark Lore yearned to be a farmer and delighted in the notion of something growing from nothing, all the while watching his father take calculated risks in risky business ventures. The 50-year-old billionaire's father, Peter, helped him develop his appetite for taking chances, and it was that foundation from early life that's motivating him to concentrate on a spellbindingly ambitious project that many experts and pundits are deeming nearly impossible. The city of Tolosa is nonetheless announced, and Lore, the former president of Walmart e-commerce and co-founder of Jet.com and Diapers.com, is attempting to lead the conceptual and financial building blocks for the mega project. Tolosa is slated to be built in the Appalachian or American West Desert, with plans to usher in a reformation of capitalism that prioritizes societal inclusion over division. Regardless of income, Lore wants Tolosa to have access to quality healthcare, top-notch education, and secure living conditions for families. Furthermore, he wants Tolosa to be a diverse community that welcomes people of all racial backgrounds, genders, sexual orientations, religions, and political views. However, it's risky and difficult to precisely build the city of the future. Why? Well, a 2014 study claimed that the ability of eco-cities to achieve their utopian ambitions may be limited by the realities of operating within a profit-driven, entrepreneurial planning environment. Experts and researchers have long maintained that too many financial obstacles can get in the way. But that's where Tolosa might be different. And for Lore, comprehending the enormity of the project entails comprehending the motivation behind it. The name Tolosa itself comes from the Greek word telos, which means higher purpose. And thus, the city's conceptual artwork resembles something out of a science fiction film. Nearly everything in the city, including autonomous electric cars and high-speed public transportation, appears to be fueled by solar power energy. Designs from the same architectural firm that built Google's headquarters, the Ark Ingalls Group, show 150,000 acres of environmentally friendly architecture, including the Equitism Tower, a skyscraper that resembles a beacon. The $400 billion goal that will require significant buy-in from key investors to get the project off the ground was the focus of Telos's headlines, and the public skepticism is hardly concealed when Lore's lofty goals, which begin with the first phase of 50,000 living residents to be welcomed into the city by 2030, are taken into account. But this is not lost on Lore, who considers the journey as important as the destination, just like his father did when he was a child. According to Lore, a co-owner of the NBA's Minnesota Timberwolves, I'm not pursuing this to make money. He also added that he was taking this action because of what it might imply for the future and other people. Even if this entire endeavor fails, hopefully there will be something to learn from it and it will motivate others to try. Lore is aware of the perceptions that can result from putting his name and his value system on a city from the ground up. However, the businessman claimed that his primary responsibility was to act as a platform for the populace to develop the city's culture. The official website for Tolosa encourages future residents to always feel a sense of community and connection to nature, while establishing a global standard of living with the intention of maximizing human potential. According to Lore, it's more of a public service for him. He doesn't want to be the mayor. He just wants to provide the city with a place where it can grow and prosper. It's not intended to be a private city, rather it's intended to be a city for everyone with a cutting edge way of living. The model, which Lore refers to as equitism, would permit any Tolosa citizen to construct a home and sell it while the city would continue to own the underlying land. According to the setup, Lore imagines that Tolosa's desert land would eventually increase in value to be worth $1 trillion. According to Lore, the land value, which could total $50 billion through investments and endowments, would go directly toward the city's funding to guarantee that every family, regardless of income, has equal access to health care, quality education, and a safe environment. Top-down economic models have their challenges, but they have been successful, at least most of the time. In Singapore, where the government owns 90% of the nation's land and then invests the proceeds back into the nation, the idea of community-owned land is on full display. Despite skepticism, Lore hopes to serve as a model for other future cities given that so many American cities today are mired in politics and have lost their ability to build trust over time. The sole goal of building a city in the desert would be to give the local populace ownership of it and basically take all the land's appreciation. To ensure that everyone's aware of the exact whereabouts of their money, taxes will be paid back to the city for infrastructure 
infrastructure projects like roads, tunnels, and bridges. Despite these promising developments, an important or rather controversial question still remains unanswered. How would one become a resident of the city? It's still unknown how the first 50,000 people in Tolosa will be chosen, but applications are most likely to be used. One thing Lore can guarantee is that racial, gender, sexual, and religious diversity will be a top priority. However, from the perspective of public perception, selection may be one of Tolosa's biggest challenges, and simply naming citizenship requirements can have a discriminatory undertone. A venture capital fund that Lore established that might house startups move into the city will be one incentive to entice people to Tolosa. But what other professions will the first citizens pursue? Without early encouragement to relocate, no one will be able to build the city. According to Lore, we'll have to kickstart in an unconventional way, but the hope is we'll position the people to grow a culture. With the help of his team of 50 volunteers and full-timers, which includes architects, historians, researchers, economists, creatives, designers, engineers, and climate experts, Lohr said much of the framework for the first settlers will be sorted out. The hope of the equitism model is to let the people shape the city's culture once the first phase starts in 2030, and then highlight diversity through respect and an equal value system. What gives the city its soul is not about the structures and the roads. It's about the principles and what the city stands for. Tolosa, according to Lore, will be purposefully apolitical in both its development and potential loss. Democrats and Republicans, as well as other people with different viewpoints would be included. One strategy for focusing on an inclusive culture is to examine potential citizens via a psychological lens rather than a sociological lens, emphasizing the subtleties of what makes people tick rather than the semantics of the whole. Working with businesses, one thing Lore learned was how much trust builds relationships and impacts culture. When people believe you're living by a set of ideals and being honest about it, something wonderful happens. Fairness and transparency are important. But in addition to securing funding, there will also be some of the other practical difficulties to overcome. However, some see Telosa as a chance to test thoroughly studied notions in a way that would not be possible otherwise. A suitable water supply system in the desert will be one of the most pressing issues. To have a city run on 80% less water per person, the team will need to leverage technology in ways we haven't seen before. Nonetheless, once this is achieved, we could be prepared better for a future with more limited water supplies. And while you might not know it, this is not the first time a wealthy person's attempted to build a utopian city. In 2017, Bill Gates revealed plans to develop a smart city on 2,800 acres outside of Phoenix. Jeffrey Burns, a millionaire, also purchased 67,000 acres in Nevada for a smart city. So is Lore's vision any different? Well, we don't know for sure, but the billionaire's childhood fantasy of making something out of nothing is definitely getting closer to reality. If you liked the video, please consider subscribing and sharing so we can keep bringing more content like this. Also, let us know your thoughts in the comments below. See you next time.